I'm Funny Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's Maga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Dr. Stone Chapter 216. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos with, let's be real, it is just getting really close to the speed of sound. Oh, God, it really goddamn is. Fuck being an adult. <laughs> if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel and myself alive in a kick in, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So last chapter was really, really awesome because we got to see um, the scientific process. We got to see trial and error in action because if um if Inagaki and Boichi would have just flat out had the rocket ready to go and we would have just went to um like um straight into uh you know having the rocket be successful and go straight to the moon like in the next chapter or so that would have really pissed me off it really would have because that's not how science works most of the time so Anyway, um, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week, and here we go. This art is so beautiful. God damn, Boichi. The rocket math is bad. Mm. That's another thing that was great about last chapter, and we're continuing to see it here. Just one little thing, like a wire a calculation being wrong it could fuck it up period love this love this getting to space is a bad challenge it's tricky even for senku and zeno the world's uh, top two rocket scientists all this trial and error so many tests just as many failures over years and years god this This panel here with the um, all this trial and error, I gotta read this again because I love this panel so much. All this trial and error, so many tests, just as many failures over years and years. This is gorgeous. It's giving you like that cave painting feel. It's so pretty. I love this. I love this. Our job is to observe and learn everything we can along the way. What led, what led to each failure? What's the solution? Inagaki with the writing. But dang, the path of the science user has been this way ever since we met Senku. Mm -hmm. The more we learn, the more we realize how little we really know. Exactly. Egg fucking exactly. Ah, the more you know, and learning is half the battle. It really is. And th let me just say this. These chapters here, last chapter and this chapter, they're so important to have right now. They really are. Because people just don't want to learn. They don't. We're like in a new age of quackery. And don't get me wrong. We've been in... um or we've uh, seen quackery throughout history. Quackery has had, let's be real, we've had quackery since the beginning of time. But the quackery we have now is like a new level of fucking quackery. It really goddamn is. Here we go. We got it! Look at Seko and Zeno, they're crying! Look, look at their faces! Look at Zeno's face in particular, he's like, oh, he's like... Seko's like crying tears of joy, Zeno's like, oh, But yes, and this chapter is titled, Hello World. Here we go, the first successful launch! Now we can search the moon for Y-Man, right? Not quite. This first one is a simple yet elegant recon satellite. Yes, it is. We got the satellite going. So satellite acquired. All right, let's take a look at this satellite. Oh, these solar panels look fierce as hell. They are beautiful. The shine on them is fantastic. 
Oh, man. And you know what? I have to say this, Boichi. Your space art just ceases to amaze me. It is just so beautiful. Even space demands a, um, a uh, patient step-by-step -step approach. Oh, it does. So start, rocket, satellite, then satellite, then space telescope, a manned spacecraft, one way, goal. So it appears. Huh. Imagine the uh, order, hey, if we had begun with manned air, uh, with manned crafts. All those fail. Oh my God, let me read this again. I'm sorry. So it appears. Imagine the order, hey, if we had begun with manned crafts, all those failures would have led to so many deaths. My man, it's right here. Right in the stone world, all um, these countless test launches had to use smaller scale rockets. Going bigger would have been unthinkable. Mm hmm. But um, the two way moon rocket that we want to make would have to be five times bigger than uh, these other ones, at least according to size calculations. It's true. Remember, this is one man, this is a one way trip. Whoa! <gasps> so we got the footage up, and again, Boichi, 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 Boichi. Oh my God! I want to see a live draw of this, Sensei. I really do on your YouTube channel. Please do this. I want to see how you draw this. This is just gorgeous. For those of you that don't um, watch Boichi Sensei's YouTube channel. Um, he does live draws and he does all of his art on a tablet and it is incredible to see it. I want to see him, see how he does this on, on, um, on that tablet. It's a tablet with a stylus, obviously, but God damn, God damn, boy, gee, this is so beautiful, oh, man. Whoa, look at, look at Japan from here. I know this ain't, this ain't 1080. Obviously it ain't 4K. This obviously ain't 1080. Um, this ain't even 720. This is probably more on like the uh, 280, wait, would it be the 280 side? Yeah, probably. Maybe, maybe 480 to be generous. Satellite images. That's what we look like from up in space. That's our world. Yes, it is. We already knew from our worldwide voyages that the, uh, that the geography has shifted over 3,700 years. Yes, we do. Look at, oh, look at that. Look at that. It really has shifted now that I'm looking at it. Look how much closer Japan is to uh, the mainland. Wow. It really has shifted a lot. Well, obviously it's, there, it's been um, 3,700 years, but damn, damn, damn. Do these image to, uh, images tell you much? Wow, do they ever. This is some freaky stuff. For the space-related efforts to come, uh, we desire a massive labor force. Yeah, and creating an accurate revised globe is the next step in our big plan to revive all 7 billion people. Oh, yes, it is. Ryusui with his leadership skills and Chelsea, the master geographer, are the ultimate tag team. Oh, here we go. Now, this is, this is what I want to see. This is what I've been waiting for for a very long time. Okay, so here we go. So... Ooh, okay, so Yellowstone Volcano's cataclysmic eruptions transformed uh, the Gallatin Mountains into a lake. So we had the, so over the past 3,700 years, Yellowstone erupted, uh, the volcanoes in Yellowstone erupted. We already knew about the pa uh, Panama Canal, though. Panama Canal filled in and uh, turned into marshes and grasslands. Oh, good thing we didn't have to pass through, uh, through there. Let's see. And... This is the 58th century new and revised globe, by the way, before I forget. So the desert um, spread to the north, and this is on the um, east coast of uh, South America. Or I'm sorry, why am I saying east coast? West coast of South America. Fuck me right now. This is like 
eight thirty in the morning right now, so you gotta excuse me. Not the twenty first century, but the fifty eighth. I mean, we knew that, but still, um, it's still out of the way. I know, yeah, I know. Um, um, maybe I'm... Yellowstone will, and in regards to Yellowstone, by the way, Yellowstone will never be the same. Uh, maybe Americans care about that, but I never knew the place, so whatever. Yo, shut the fuck up, dude. I've never been to Yellowstone, but goddamn, it's, but look how, look how far it's spread, though. Damn, poor California, my poor state. Whoa, look at Aussie. Now, this is what I want to, again, this is why I would love to see the Stone Diaries happen in more ways than one, um, is that, Look at the coral reefs in Aussie. Coral reefs added enough land to the continent to be visible by satellite. Look at that! Wouldn't you want to see that in person? I would love to see that. Then you have the, whoa, the plains of China are uh, wetlands with massive rivers. You know what? That does not surprise me. I would not be surprised by this um, because uh, um, if you know China's um, current, uh, geography, mm -hmm. this don't, this shouldn't surprise you. All right. So the majority of Africa's deserts are now, uh, savannas and forests. Now this is very interesting. I would, I would have loved to seen this. That's why I'm kind of frustrated. We didn't stop when we were going through the Suez Canal. I would have loved to seen this. I would have loved to seen this. After petrification, nuclear power plants cause massive damage to the um, to their environs. Radiation has um, rendered harmless was uh, rendered harmless after ten to one hundred years of um, extensive dilution. Mm, yeah, that don't surprise me. I'm think. Uh, hold on, I'm thinking about this, and yeah, because because um, the nuclear power plants didn't have a chance to go offline that's why so that's probably that's why it that happened but if that's the case you would have the same kind of thing going on with um with the uh you would have to hope that the um the drills for you know natural gas or drills for natural gas and oil and um also like the coal power plants that were going on in china and all of that you'd have to hope that those were offline during the petrification as uh, when the pet petrification initially happened yes um 3700 years went by so obviously you would have the air being purified and in the case of like deep sea um drilling for example deep water drilling um there's w what we found out in the gulf of um Mexico after the BP oil spill there's actually bacteria up in um it was either bacteria or plankton I can't remember off the top of my head um there were org organisms I will just say organisms because that's just the better term for it um to generalize there's organisms in the Gulf of Mexico that were able to you know eat up the oil that was up in there and you know naturally clean up the oil spill so if even if there was like an oil spill um, where the drills were, it wouldn't matter anyway. But I find the whole thing with the savannas and the forests really interesting. I do. But also look at the north and look at the south poles. Look at, yeah, look at the, um, look, yeah, the Antarctic north and the south. L look at that. Look how much bigger they are. It's very interesting, but I can't, but something that's just driving me nuts is why is no one talking to, why is it not being mentioned about the geographical shift that's going, that's going on with Japan? You guys can let me know if I'm going nuts, but it really looks like there's a geographical shift with, uh, with Japan. It really does. It looks like it's a lot closer. Or maybe it's just how it's drawn. I don't know. Africa looks really interesting too. Hmm. 
The reason why I bring this up is because during the third, um, and it was brought up earlier in this manga, is um, after like a certain amount of time, there would be a um, there would be a tectonal plate shift, right? And th hence why you know the volcanoes, the Yellowstone uh, volcano eruption. But it wouldn't just be there. There would be multiple volcano eruptions. There, there are supposed to be, according to like multiple geologists, I I believe that um, there would be certain volcanoes that would be erupting, right? What about the vol- there's, isn't there like at least a one or two active volcanoes in Hawaii that would be erupting? Yeah, there's like multiple volcanoes that should have been erupting. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a very interesting thought here. What about the volcanoes though? The, act, the known active volcanoes that are um, uh, including, the, well, the one in Spain, obviously, that is erupting. But you know what I mean? There's multiple active volcanoes that should have erupted within the past 3,700 years. How would they affect everything here? Um, that's the thing I'm very good. Maybe, actually, maybe that's why the majority of Africa's deserts are now savannas and, and forests. That's an interesting thought. Do you think that's why in regards to, to Africa? Hmm. It's only in Northern Africa that we're seeing this. It just says, the translation just says the majority of Africa's deserts, but we don't see it in, um, it's only in, it looks like North Africa that we're really seeing it, but but we kind of see little bits and pieces in, throughout the rest of Africa that's really going on up in the north. But I'm really curious what you guys think in regards to that, in regards to um, uh, to Africa in particular. And what do you guys think about what, what happened in Hawaii? Because Hawaii has active volcanoes as well. Hmm. And Iceland, because I know there was a volcano erupting in Iceland um, recently. I know I'm overthinking this, but I'm just so curious how, what these vol, uh, 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 hey, they were talking about Yellowstone. I had to bring it up. You make me have to bring this up. I have to ask the questions here. Ooh, so we got, ooh, so we have the multiple Perseuses, um, being built and going to different destinations. So we have India, we have Spain. And I noticed there is some there is some greenhouse gases coming out of there. I gotta wonder if they're powered by coal. Mm-hmm. And there's the rocket. Space telescope required. Sweet. Ha, the moon's surface again. This is why we need the space diary or not space. Damn it, the stone diaries. We need this fucking series bad. I want to see it. I want to see these places explored. And also in regards to the stone diaries, you can have this go, um, uh, go, not just going on during the world tour. You can have it going on like here too. It, it, there's so many things you can do with this. Oh God. The moon's surface is ours to view. I can use my powerful vision to locate Y man. Oh, sadly, these images are sent to us as raw data. Good vision won't help us here. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. Kohaku uh, once discovered an oil field by spotting a black uh, blotch in an aerial photo. Her stellar vision is a product of focus and attention to detail. Hmm, is that so? It's no wonder that uh, Byakuya uh, wait, and the astronauts uh, would produce such exemplary descendants. She might prove quite the asset up in space. Dude, this panel is amazing in terms of art. Damn, Poichi. I guess I'm, uh, I guess I'm glad that the search for Y Man can begin now. But uh, the second that Kohaku spots him, they'll want to launch the one-way rocket, right? Uh, Got gotcha you now, Y Man. Let's hit him hard and fast. Oh my God, Kohaku! Right. I'm just gonna keep going. Gotcha now, Y Man. Let's hit him hard and fast. Go, go, go! Yep, 
which means we have a deadline. We gotta finish our own mission before then and build a round trip rocket. Easier said than done. The round trip one's gotta be five times bigger. First we gotta test it who knows how many times. That could easily take decades. Bad. How do we pull this off? Hmm. Senku, Zeno, look at this. From what I can tell, there's one spot that changes little by little over time, though I cannot identify this anomaly. As a NASA scientist, I can confirm that it is certainly something unnatural on the moon's surface, something truly elegant. We finally found you, why, man? <gasps> or, wait, I fucked this up, I'm sorry. We finally found you. Why, hello there, why, man. Woohoo, we found him. Dude, I'm sorry, this page right here, this final page um, of this black spot on the moon. I don't know why it's making me think of an ultrasound. It's weird that I'm thinking of an ultrasound. But yeah, that's what it's given me a little bit. But damn, I really love this art. I gotta tell you, it's fucking talented to do something like this. It is. I love this. I love this chapter. I'm finally getting what I want. And let's be real, this was the only way we were going to get one, probably the only way we were going to get like a really clear view of the, um, of the geography of the current state of the world, um, was with the satellite, even though yes, traveling around the world, maybe we would have gotten it. Um, I oh God, no, I'm. I, I'm going to change my mind here. I'm going to amend my statement here. This was one of the ways. Traveling around the world, with, doing the world tour would have been, obviously, the other way. This really just solidifies that this manga is ending soon. I'm really getting really sad, and I'm really mad about this. This is just rushing. Rushing, rushing, rushing. Would I say that the pacing of this final arc is okay? You know what? I'm gonna say this. I think the world, to, it's not completely this arc's fault. No, I'm gonna blame this more so on the world tour arc being rushed than anything else. Um, I'm kind of wish, um, do I think hold on based on this do I think there could have been a little bit more done hmm. I really feel like just seeing the globe like this I'm gonna say this I really feel like seeing the globe or having this globe made here this map it just really confirms that we were going to see so much more. I actually wonder if, hmm, if a good chunk of these countries were, uh, were going to be what we were going to see on the world tour. Because we did see, well, we somewhat um, had an idea of the Panama Canal. We were in um, South America. We were in Aussie briefly. I really think that these were going to be the rest of the stops for the world tour now that I'm thinking about this. I wonder what you guys think. Do you guys think these locations here specifically were going to be some of the stops that we didn't get to go on in the world tour? I kind of, I could actually see that. I could. Something tells me that some of the, there's, these are a good chunk of the locations we didn't get to go to. And that really makes me sad. Because I would have loved to seen this. And yes, we were in Aussie, but we didn't stay for very long. If, oh, that's why I'm, again, this is why I'm kind of convinced we, um, we didn't get to do that. We didn't get to do a lot of this and not just, maybe not just the world tour, um, for the, you know, for Senku's crew, but maybe even for the American, um, you know, the people that were in corn city, maybe they were going to go, uh, some of them were going to go to Yellowstone. 
or or maybe like actually you know what maybe even the um senku's crew we're gonna go to yellowstone to get some materials for the rocket as well i could, another thing is i kind of wish we would have gotten to see what happened with florida speaking thinking about it now because with florida florida's environment is so interesting I would have loved seeing like what happened with um, the wetlands there. And again, same with Hawaii. I want to know what happened to Hawaii. This just so ugh, this frustrates me so much. And we didn't like really get more info on what happened with. And maybe we'll find out in the next chapter or so what happened with like India and shit. But. I'm really sad. This really, really sad, uh, saddens me and frustrates me a lot. I'm curious what you guys uh, thought of this chapter. Do you guys kind of agree with me that a lot of the stuff here, um, location wise, because like, again, why these locations? Besides the obvious, seeing it on the uh, satellite, but I feel like there's more to it. I do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think about this. Um, do you guys think that this arc is uh, is rushed or does it only maybe feel that way because of the world tour arc being abruptly ended, well, rushed and abruptly ended the way it was? Because um, that's how it feels to me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Guns Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Dr. Stone content, there's a few ways you can do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.